Hey what's up guys, Ben here, welcome back to the Only Accus YouTube channel uh, You'll notice I'm inside and I'm shaking, I'm freezing cold It's beyond cold outside uh, And I've just sat for 90 minutes, uh, 95 minutes with injury time And and watched a shocking display of football from Hamilton uh, Finished here, Hamilton 1, Aberdeen 3 And a game that was over by half time uh, Aberdeen going into half time 3 now up This team haven't been able to score from open play all year In 2020 and of course they have us and they score three in the first half. Sam Woods cost his goals today. He was he was horrible. I, 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 the whole team are shocking. I don't honestly think any player gets pass marks tonight. I honestly can't think of a single one. Um Sam Woods causes the first goal, trying to big, take a big clean swipe at midair and get absolutely nothing. The second goal, some good little passes, but it's stuff that Aki should be just putting them foot through and clearing and it falls to Niall McGinn who finishes well uh, and then the final goal was a header and like I said over by half time jeers around the stadium shouts a rice suit shouts up to the uh, the director's board uh, where they're sitting horrible today I noticed Jim Goodwin was in the stand watching and I, I tweeted up don't worry Jim um, you know you'll sleep soundly tonight uh, I can go take the relegation spot because at half time that's what it looked like we were doing uh, Brian Easton came off injured in the first half, which is a real, real loss to us, our captain. It looks like a really horrible injury, and by the looks of it, he'll be out for the rest of the season, which does not help us whatsoever. Considering Sean Want uh, came on for him, uh, and Sean Want's a good player, I like Sean Want. Um, he's not taking the mantle of Brian Easton, and then we, at half time, made changes, two changes. Pardon me, sorry, two changes. Sam Woods came off, had a horrible first game of football. Gogic, McMahon, and Want as our back three. Um, with Hunt and McGowan as the wide wide players. And I thought we did better in the second half, but better from shite is still shite. Um, again, offered absolutely nothing. We got our goal. Uh, you know, the ball was headed on by David Moyo, uh, who held it up, who then passed it to Ogunpo, who just absolutely lashed it, put his foot through it under Joe Lewis. And it was a consolation goal. Ironic cheers from the fans, understandably, myself included. But what annoyed us was they started playing, there's not even bits and pieces, celebration music. It's a consolation goal, and you're 3 1, you're 3 0 down at home. Do not play that music. That's, that's patronising us. Do not play that. I thought today we were absolutely shocking. The lineup I thought was a good lineup. I tweeted out I was happy with it, but the setup was wrong. Blair Olsen in behind the strikers of Ogunpo and Templeton. That's not what you're looking for. Should have been the same as St Mirren where uh, David Templeton sat behind Marius Ogunpo. That's how the game should play. So when Ogunpo wins the headers, David Templeton running onto it, and that's not what they did. The lineup was good. The setup was wrong. That's the problem. Uh, we have no players who can pass the ball. That's the fear, man. Blade Olsen is meant to be our creative midfielder and he can't pass the ball two yards. He also had a horrible game today. Scott Martin, as much as I love the boy, he did not stop running. He loves these tackles. But he can't pass the ball to save himself. And obviously Gogic, who we all know in the club have admitted, he can't pass a ball. How are we expected to come and win a game of football? We boot it. Hoofball. Hoofball was, was in full effect today. We just hoofed it, hoofed it up the pitch and hoped something fell. But when they've got centre-backs of McKenna, Devlin and Considine, they're going to eat that up. It doesn't matter if it's if it's Augie or Moyo who are good in the air. They're going to eat that up all day, every day. So this kind of stuff is not good enough and as only Aki's tweeted the fans deserve better that's going to be the title of this, that's going to be the title of this video we deserve better because we do we absolutely deserve better from than what we got today uh, no player gets a pass mark from me whatsoever Aberdeen quite rightfully winners um, hats off to them they thoroughly deserved it they didn't necessarily play well either though let's let's keep that in mind they did not play well today but they, but even they are not very good was 10 times better than ours and that's shocking. There was not a single player who looked like they cared out there tonight other than Marius Ogunpo. He was the only one I thought who cared and he got man of the match because he got the goal, obviously. But he was the only one I thought who looked like he cared. Uh, and that says something, I think. Um, so, you know, what can you take away from the game today? Serious worries is what you can take away from the game today. Jim Goodwin was here watching the St. manager. He will sleep soundly tonight, knowing that Aki's will take a relegation spot. Now it's down to Hearts and him, I think, by the looks of it. I'm not, I don't, I'm not in favour of Rice out. I don't think Rice out. But if this was any other manager, they would be in serious, serious problems right now. I mean, other than the Motherwell win away, what have we offered, really, in the last games? Uh, battered by Celtic, battered by Rangers... Uh, and now today, we don't offer anything in the games, and that's the biggest trouble. 
Are you honestly telling me that and, and the prices, well I'll talk about the prices just very briefly. It was like twenty two it was like twenty twenty five quid or something for an adult tonight. The game's live on Sky Sports. The weather is shocking. It's freezing cold and you're expecting adults to pay twenty five quid. It's not gonna happen. It's it's a joke. It really, really is. Um Aki's were terrible today. Uh I, I, like I said, I have no positives to give you. Nothing at all. Uh, next up is Hearts on Saturday. Away, which... <sighs> this game was a must-win game for me. I don't know what Hearts is now. Hearts is a simple, if we lose, we're relegated. Um, because if Hearts pick up points, we're in big, big trouble. Seriously big trouble. Uh, and we're, we're, we're uh, going to get caught at the bottom of the table adrift for everyone else. And that's the last thing you want. Um, I don't really know much else I can say. Um, thank you for all the support on the last video, the Rangers video. It's the most liked, it's the most viewed, sorry, video on the channel. Nearly two and a half thousand views, which is our most ever. So thank you all for the support on that. Paul McDonald interview is still up. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Uh, thank you for all the love on that. I, you know, keep watching it though. Keep sharing it out as much as you can. There's a lot of work and effort went in, not just from me, but from 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 some very hardworking people, Lewis and Robbie. We put a lot of effort into that video. Um, Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully the Hearts video will be a little bit cheerier. And I'll see you then. <laughs>